So we have a new heater for the shop. I want to take a minute and explain to you what it is and why I went with this option. So I don't think this is going to be the permanent solution for my shop, but it's definitely an option right now that gives me a dual purpose because I can take this out to locations, do installs, especially in the cold weather, and then also bring it back to the shop and use it in the shop. When I'm ready to do something else in the shop, which is probably going to be uh, propane, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But for now, this is the option. Let's talk about it. So let's talk about some of the key features. Low noise, zero CO emissions, odorless, zero breeze dust, a radiant heater warms without kicking up a storm. It does come with a ther thermostat control capability. So you can plug in a thermostat to this, plug it directly into the unit and set a thermostat up in your shop. Now, keep in mind, this does need ventilation. So they recommend that you open up a space somewhere in your shop. So you do have some ventilation. You can't just be in an airtight shop while you're running this. So before we start this thing up, I wanted to just walk around and let you kind of look everything over. Um, right there, you can see the fusible link, or it's not a fusible link, it's actually a, a jumper wire. You remove that jumper wire and that's where you would plug in your, uh, your thermostat control. The controls are pretty straightforward. There's an on off and a reset button. When you get to the other side, this is a dual fuel option. So you can run diesel number one or number two or kerosene. And this thing here, I think it's a, a, a 12 gallon tank or a 15 gallon tank. Go ahead and start it up, give you a chance to take a look at it and see how it starts up. And you can actually get a, a sound reference to give you an idea of how loud it is. And we'll see how much smoke or if there's any smoke at all when we light this thing up. To light it up is basically turn the button on. It goes through a startup cycle. So we're on now. Let's give it a little time here to go through a startup cycle. You can hear the fan kicking on and you'll hear the igniter when it ignites. So let's wait for that and see how she does. Should we time it? One. Now this is the, it does say in the manual, you could see a small amount of smoke during when it lights. And that's what we see there. We do see a little bit of smoke. That's why they recommend having some ventilation. But immediately right away, you can feel the heat coming off of this thing. I think we should let this thing run. The current temperature in the shop right now is about 50 degrees. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a time lapse and let's give it, see how long it takes So according to the timer, as you can see, it took about 10 minutes to get the shop up to 60 degrees. And the shop's not large. It's only a 30 by 40 shop. It is spray foam, so it is insulated. Um, there's a window cracked on the backside. But just to give you an idea of the heat that it puts out and warms up this space pretty quick, it's definitely quieter than the torpedo heater that I had before. Um, the heat that it's putting out is a lot more, and there's definitely there's no diesel smell um, besides a little bit right at startup. I don't smell anything uh, anymore. What's convenient for me about this is I'm able to use diesel fuel for it so I can fill this thing up on the way to a location. The portability, I can bring it to on jobs and then I can also use it in the shop. I can set up a thermostat control in the shop so I can put this thing in. I don't have to worry about it. I can come back, um, unplug the thermostat, plug, plug the, um, the jumper wire back in, throw it behind the truck and go on a job and use it on the job. I don't think this is going to be the permanent solution for my shop. In time, I'm going to probably put propane tubes, uh, the radiant heat tubes up in the ceiling here. But for now, this gave me the option to get the tool I needed to do some of these jobs, stay warm in this Wisconsin winter and also use it in the shop whenever we need it in the shop. So you should check them out um, if you're interested in something like this. There is Sunfire Heaters. They're a local Wisconsin company. It's made right here in the USA. And so far it's been a, a nice little heater to have in the shop.